Great patio ideas that use mixed materials. As you look at this patio, keep in mind that there was no mixing of mortar involved. Using the circular fountain as a focal point, the gray stones radiate out in a sunburst pattern from the edge of the fountain. Underneath is a loose material, pea gravel. The larger flagstone pavers can be spaced apart for pathways or butted up closer together and leveled for a seating area. When designing a patio surface, remember that there's no hard and fast rule about using just one paving material. Loose materials like gravel are an easy way to create an almost instant patio or hardscaped area in any part of your yard. Gravel is much easier and more forgiving than the concrete pouring process or even a brick and sand patio. Round aggregate pavers in assorted sizes were common and available at hardware stores and garden centers in the mid-20th century, and are once again finding their way into yards and on pathways as an interesting alternative. Large flagstones set in pebbles or pea gravel make up the floor of this backyard patio retreat. The tub is large enough for two, but no more, making it the perfect hideaway for a couple. Privacy can be obtained by way of close plantings or containers. A nearby water feature creates a different type of privacy by blocking any neighborhood noise with the soothing sound of running water. Patio citrus trees enhance the sensory experience of this patio hideaway. Instead of a boring, thirsty lawn in drought-stricken California, this Santa Monica front yard uses every inch of space for drought-tolerant and sustainable gardening, recycled pathways, repurposed and creative sitting areas, like this patio. Drought-tolerant plants in a bark mulch bed and pea gravel edge and frame a patio area, delineating it from another section of the yard. The pea gravel probably has some sort of edging to contain it and keep it neat and linear. This outdoor room at the LA Garden Show shows how loose materials can be pulled together for a casual yet finished look. The pathway is filled with pea gravel while bark mulch is on each side of the path. Pavers are placed in the patio dining and seating area for a more solid surface underfoot. Plant boxes edge the pathway and patio area for some instant plant life. An umbrella serves as a focal point and provides much needed shade for dining outside, of course. Flagstone pavers on this patio floor get a framing effect with a mosaic border of Mexican river rock. The smooth rocks used for this mosaic are usually laid flat, note how these are turned on their sides, for a more richly textured and unusual look. A prefab house at the LA Garden Show gets an easy and attractive patio area with square concrete pavers spaced evenly with a filler of pebbles. Three paving or patio flooring materials are combined to show variety but also demonstrate that you don't need to be limited to one type. So what do we have here? A study in contrasts, both in shape and color, terracotta colored square brick pavers of a patio are edged or filled in with black rock gravel. The result, even though both are on the same level, you know where one ends and the other begins, or vice versa. This wheelchair accessible garden was featured at the LA Garden Show. Laramie Haynes' design is ingenious on many different levels. The height of the raised planters is perfect for individuals in wheelchairs to work in their gardens. The entire patio garden and planting beds are designed in the round and rotate on a truck axle, making it easy and comfortable to wheel from one section to another or have the planter boxes move like a lazy Susan. The design also allows the gardener a good view at any point of the rest of the planting beds. Two vintage designer lounge chairs are positioned poolside on a smooth, subtly patterned concrete patio floor. The agave americana in containers is an appropriately architectural plant choice for this house, which was designed by Lloyd Wright, son of Frank Lloyd Wright, in the late 1950s. The home and garden were part of the Theodore Payne Water Wise Garden Tour. A terrace-style patio at the San Diego Botanic Garden in Encinitas, California, takes full advantage of the breathtaking ocean view. The low, curved wall establishes a definite shape to the patio area as well as a barrier. A raised patio that is used as a room-like outdoor entryway requires some privacy, especially when the homeowners dine outside. 
This is where a low wall serves a few purposes, it encloses the patio and makes it more of an outdoor room, offers privacy by not being as visible from the street and provides a physical barrier, so you don't scoot your chair back too far and end up in a prickly shrub. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.